serving a great meal, there is always room for delightful drinks. Here with some sassy sips is our Pinterest interest girl, Christina DeLoma. Welcome. Thank you, Gina. So what are we serving up today? Because I always think of alcoholic beverages when I think of a fancy drink. Does it yes. have to be alcohol? Oh, good gosh, no. Okay. So the way to really make a fancy drink is you can go for the mocktail, or you can go with your glassware and add that up a little bit, add a little pep in your step, or your tablescape is really a nice way to add a little sass to your, to your sip. I need some sass in my <laughs> sip. All right, so what kind of drinks are making a big comeback? Okay, so the Moscow Mule has actually been around since the 1940s. Really? And today, they are all over the place. As you can see, these three right here. The, traditionally, the Moscow Mule is served in a copper glass, just like our mug, really. And that was because of the time, copper also really keeps it cold. So I have three unique versions right here. This first one at the top, can you guess which this one is? Well, it looks like it's a berry. Yes, it's a blueberry <laughs> one. Now, what makes this one unique is the fact that I had to make homemade blueberry syrup to put in this drink. Really? Yes. Neat. That must have been complicated. Actually, it's just a sugar, water, blueberries. Easy oh, breezy. There you go. Yes, and for the holiday season, what do you think this one is called? Is it cranberries? It or is, is cranberries, it but I already gave away because it's called the Holiday Mule. Oh, <laughs> that was a simple name. Yeah, so this one is really unique as well. It's just a traditional mule, which is can be either gin or vodka, usually vodka, with lime and then um, there's some other items that are in this one, which may are cranberry and rosemary. Hmm. Yeah, so that they one's really look nice. Good. I want Thank to try. Thank you. <laughs> and <laughs> yes, there's one more, and this one, I don't know what do you think this one is. <laughs> it's really. It's got to be herbs. Yeah, some sort of herb mule. You're very close. It is a basil and peach mule. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that what makes this too. one? Oh, yeah, they definitely do. What makes this one unique is that instead of using a, just a generic a vodka, I used a peach vodka and added a little basil sprig in there too. Nice. Now, what about sassing up our cups? Because obviously you've got these cute mason jars. You've got the little copper mug here. How can we bring a little sass to the table in our cups? That's a unique way to really bring your drink forward. And there are three ways I have on the table. The first one is this one right here. This is a great for a kid's party. So all I have is blue frosting and I put it on the inside of the cup. Why do you think that is? Then they can get it in their drink. The yes, blue? yes, and so no one's fingers get sticky. <laughs> oh my gosh, of course. <laughs> smart, smart. Yes. And this is a really good one for Halloween because if you do red, you can actually make it look like blood in your cup. Oh my gosh, <laughs> <laughs> that's really fun, I like that. And have you ever had sugar on your rim? Yes. There you go. And they also make colored sugar, so you can really add one more step up with the sugar on the rim. And I'm going to put you to work because this is a cool for a decadent drink. So if you want to take that chocolate sauce right there, if you're serving like a caramel drink or a mocha drink, this mm -hmm. is really nice. We're just going to do a swirl on the inside. So just start and tilt it in. There you go. Oh my oh, gosh, if mine decides to work. That's okay. You know what? That's totally fine. You did a great job with, I like your, chocolate. with your twirl. Tell? Yeah, so this is good for a nice decadent drink right there. See how cool it looks? Your drink, my drink, I'm going to choose this one. Now what about the drink lover in our lives? What can we do for them? Okay, so for the drink lover, we have three gifts. It is this one right here by Mamory Hart, and she's a YouTuber. She's so delightful. And then these are handmade glasses, which my Those friend Alyssa pretty. made. And then before we go, this is actually a cucumber, lemonade, honey lemonade, which you can serve at any party. Nice. Yeah. Christina, thank you You're so much welcome. for all these great ideas and some wonderful beverages yeah. for us. I'm taking this one. <laughs> if you'd like more sassy sip ideas and other fun Pinterest goodies from our Pinterest interest gal, follow Christina DeLoma on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, and YouTube.